Hello everyone, my name is Wes and this is Island by Film, episode number three. Today we're going to be touring a place called Neck Point Provincial Park, and that's in uh, Nanaimo, British Columbia. Neck Point's a really unique place, in fact, if you're the type of person who loves to just walk along coastline and and uh, hunt along tidal pools and look for, for creatures under rocks and so forth, it's a great place to go. Plus there's a forested portion of the trail that's fantastic as well. I'm going to be taking out a camera today called the Zeiss Icon Icaret. It's, it's a vintage folding camera. It's a 6x9 camera that takes 120 film that was made in the 1930s. This camera is um, pretty well 90 years old, uh, possibly even a little bit older than 90 years. Uh, so I've done a little bit of research on the camera, pretty minimal research, but um, would like to, to uh, take this camera out and, and shoot a roll of HP5 and show you what my results are with that HP5. I'll give you a, little, a few close-up looks at this camera as well too, and then I'll give you my impressions after, um, after the walk around and images are, are um, reviewed. So I hope you enjoy this episode and we'll see you back in a little bit. Can I get a regular coffee with one cream, one sugar? Well, welcome back. Thanks for viewing that and taking a look at um, my short mini tour of Nanaimo's uh, Neck Point Provincial Park. Um, I know I needed to get an episode out this week. I'm, I'm trying to commit to that goal of one episode per week, which is actually quite a big commitment because when you're shooting film, uh, you're not only having to um, shoot all the footage, video footage that goes along with it, but you got to shoot the film, you got to develop the film, you have to scan the film. And then I'm also committing to one more step, which is to create a custom zine for each and every episode. So so I'm probably putting in six or eight hours a week in, in extra um and extra work just to put these episodes together. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you see a marked improvement each and every time that I do the episode. 
Um, one of the things that uh, um, I wanted to do, this camera's been sitting on my shelf for some time. In fact, I've, I've never ever run a roll of, of 120 film through this. Uh, a few months back, I ran a roll of 35 millimeter film with a custom uh, three printed adapter uh, to run it through here and I was really pleased with the results in fact it, it, it it's it's not a hassle ad but I, I left I have a blog post on my blog uh, which is westinphoto.com slash analog I've got a blog post on there that kind of highlights uh, what those images look like and and I call it uh, the the blog post title is no X pan no problem and so obviously I can't afford an X pan so that was a it was kind of a really good alternative to be able to shoot that wide panoramic uh, look and and I was pretty pleased with it but um, the morning we went out uh, to neck point was pretty flat light um, it was overcast uh, which, which isn't always the best thing for black and white film. You want dramatic, um, uh, dramatic light. You want uh, um, kind of an impactful light in order to kind of, you know, you know, bring more drama to the scene. And 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 it was not that way. So it was overcast. But you know what? I committed to myself. I'm gonna get out there anyway, and I'm gonna do the job. I'm going to shoot the episode, and I'm gonna post it up on on the Sunday like I, I commit to do. So my impressions of the Zeiss camera, I'm first gonna open it up and see if you can see this. Uh, hopefully you can see this well enough. Um, first thing you do is you pull this tab out here and you slide it open like this. And then grab these two tabs and you slide the whole bellows system out. So you can see right here, uh, the camera has a bellows. Uh, if you take a look at the front of the lens right here, um, it is a Carl Zeiss Tessar f4.5 lens. So um, it's, I mean, it has Zeiss glass in it. It's got to be good, right? And and in fact, it is. It's it's actually a fairly sharp lens, uh, as you can see in the images. The images are actually fairly sharp. I've never shot with HP5 before, and actually, I should also mention to you as well that I use the Cinestill DF76 Monobath. Uh, because generally you'll see on this site uh, probably 90% of the time going to be shooting um, color film because color film is definitely my preference, right? So um, the, this this camera is really unique because you have some options for uh, for focusing on the side here. There's a little focus um, a focus lever that you can go back. I shot most of everything at infinity uh, and at f8 and f16 depending on the scene. Uh, but you also actually have some some movement up and down, which is which is really unique for for a camera like this. Um, I've never shot large format before, but this kind of almost felt um, like what I think large format would feel like. You know, with the exception of having to slide out film holders. I love the run and gun nature of 35 millimeter film uh, versus this kind of a, a setup, which is quite a bit slower. But I mean, it was on my shelf. I wanted to make sure that I had an opportunity to shoot it. And so I brought the tripod out and set up each shot. Hope you enjoyed the shots. They weren't fabulous shots by any means, but they were frames that I was able to run through this camera that's almost 100 years old, which feels like a feat in itself. And so um, I hope you enjoy them. Uh, and, and I hope you, uh, if you have any questions on this camera, please feel free and leave a comment below. Um, and as always, each and every episode, I'm gonna be giving away a free zine. And so I'll show you a quickly a preview of the zine from the last episode. So this is, this is episode two, um, the episode two zine. So this zine right here uh, um, highlights uh, my visit to Granville Island. And um, to one lucky person, I'll be giving away this zine each and every episode, no matter where you live in the world. All I ask is that you subscribe and you comment and like uh, this video and really appreciate that. And, and, and then I'll, I'll send you a copy of that zine. I'll just drop you a, a message, a reply saying, giving my email address, which is islandbyfilm at gmail.com. And you can send me an email uh, with with your personal home address, and I'll I'll mail this off to you. I'll slide it in at my expense. I have no problems doing that. It's kind of my my goal to to share um, my experience of analog photography in Vancouver Island specifically. So so yeah, it, this is this is the episode so two zine still the giveaway, and uh, um, and then I'll also every week be creating a new zine. So the images I shot this week on the Zeiss Icon. I'll be actually creating a new zine as well. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope you come back and please subscribe. And thank you very much.